Hey, I'm Beth. And I'm Jamal, and today we're talking about the pros and cons of young marriage. Young love. We were 19 and 20 when we got married. Yeah, I was 19, Jamal was 20, and we tied the knot. We did it. And we're still here. Six we're still years here. Later. We're still married, we're still in love, and it's great. So, end of video. See you later. <laughs> No, so you might be thinking about marriage at a young age, you may have children who are thinking about marriage at a young age, or friends, and so we thought we'd put together a video on basically the pros and cons of the things we experienced as a young married couple. We will always premise anything we say marriage-wise with, at the end of the day it's your decision and you've yeah. got to do what you want to do. Definitely. But here's a little bit of a context for you. So, pro. You live more life together. If you get married young, you have more of your life to live, seeing each other every day, mm -hmm. building your life together, getting closer, and just, <laughs> you know, it just, it's just pretty fabulous. For us to be together for half of our lives, we'd have to be 32. So we met at 15 and 16. Technically, when we are 32, Oh, we would have been I mean. together. Gosh, maths. <laughs> we would have been together for half of our lives. Yeah. That's only 32. Like, that's not even that's old. That's not very old. That's not old. Like, for us to have been married for half our lives, we'd be 40. 40. That's not old. Exactly. And you would have already had 20 whole years together. Do it. I mean, if it's the right person, don't do it. If it's not the right person. <laughs> One of the cons. People will always talk, especially because you're getting married young. People are going to oh, talk, yes. they will have opinions, they will, because of your age, they will underestimate you as well. So not only will they push their opinions on you, but they will assume that their opinion is more valid and more wise and better because they're older, because they're, yeah. you know, they've lived a bit more life. But actually, life isn't really about that. One of the things you're going to have to deal with is people trying to talk on your marriage and mm -hmm. on your relationship when they don't really have the right to. And even the shock horror of people when they find out that you're married and you're 19 and 20 and they're like, yeah. And you're like, well that doesn't the make me feel great, does it? If I had like a penny for every time I've been called a baby because I'm getting married young. It offends disgusts it. <laughs> like, whoa now. <laughs> this is pure love we're talking about here. <laughs> Ultimately, that could be turned into a pro. If people underestimate you, you're just gonna shock them when you do flipping well in your marriage. That's straight. Mm-hmm. Girl. Pro. Pro. Over there. You get to witness firsthand each other's growth and also be a part of each other's growth, mm -hmm. which is so cool. We've grown up together, we've seen each other yeah. through the developmental stages of life. It's just been so, so cool to watch yeah. Jamal, for example, become more confident in certain areas or yeah. discover interests in other areas. And it bonds you, you know, you're not the finished article and then you come together, you're like the tiny little seed that then like meets this other little seed and their little sprouts they grow together and suddenly they're this intertwined tree like Jack beautiful. and the Beanstalk <laughs> <laughs> yeah you grow together it's great looking at that same idea as a con the the danger of that is that you can become codependent if you're not careful in a kind of parasitic toxic leeching each other's life kind of way yeah. And you, not like pushing yourself out of your comfort yeah. zone unless they're there. Yeah. So it becomes very easy to hide in that person or because you because you've grown in your confidence with that person, it's very easy to associate your confidence with that person and then hide behind them or like to feel a complete shell of yourself when they're not there. Yeah. And it's not bad to draw your strength from each other, especially when you're young, learning to grow as your own person yeah. and to champion your, your partner into pursuing who they are as a person, as an individual, so that they can really, you know, you can become two golden pieces of of gold. gold. <laughs> <laughs> Another pro. You get to experience the power of commitment. Yes. Get it in. Get committed. Get that long-term vision, that short-term vision. You have that stability in your life from a young age. That person you can depend on person you can rely on. It's so healthy when it leaks into other areas of your life. It helps you to become more committed in your work, in your rest time. It's a principle that can be flipped into different areas of your yeah. life. Yeah, you're essentially creating your own template for stability. Yeah. And I think I mean, a lot the way of... that he words things is just like... <laughs> 
So much better than me. <laughs> no, you did great. You did great. But I think a lot of like when we were both young, we both struggled with stability and having that kind of stable environment in our lives and stable emotional state, stable mental state and everything. Whereas when you get married and commit and you build that yourself, even though you don't necessarily know what it looks like, you may not have a great template, yeah. but you're creating your own version of it and then it, it fuels everything else mm. you do. You end up not being so scared to make the big decisions yeah. or take the risks. Because you've already taken because one already, of the biggest yeah. risks in the whole world. I mean, it is a massive mm. risk, but mm. then again, if it's the right person, it's not really a risk. Yeah. But how do you know unless you take the lead? It's a question for another video. <laughs> <laughs> a con, and a very obvious one, is that you may not always be financially stable straight away. When you're young, obviously you don't have a career yet. You might have like a day job, yeah. but we're, we're still trying to figure out like what we actually want to do with our lives, who we want to be, what kind of legacy we want to leave, all those sort of questions. Mm. Like, I didn't have a clue when I was 19. I just knew I loved you and I just wanted to be with you for the rest of my life. Like all of those things you don't ask yourself, you don't really yeah. know yet. And that's fine, you don't have to know those things. It comes with taking that leap, and like we said about commitment, it comes with getting into that point of being committed and you just see it through and figure it out. Learning how to be frugal and learning how to balance, like yeah. not, not being so rich yeah. straight away. It helps you to focus on the important things. Just put a positive spin on not being financially stable <laughs> when you first get married. Silver lining. A silver lining. <laughs> Although I looked at clouds the other day, and not every cloud has a silver lining, so I don't know who made that up. Oh my gosh. I know. Heartbreak. I know. <laughs> when you don't have loads of money, you have to get so creative with the ways that you spend time together. It just helps you to really zone in on the importance mm. of just quality time, talking, getting to know each other more, yeah. kissing, <laughs> having fun time. <laughs> <laughs> Which is all very important in a marriage. Yep, definitely. Before we talk about our last pro or con, we just wanted to highlight to you that we have now started a Buy Me A Coffee page. Jeez. If you don't know what that is, it's basically a really nice way that you guys can support us financially if you so wish. The link will be down below. But you can make a one-off payment of £4 or up to like whatever amount you feel like you want to give. But that pretty much goes directly to keeping our lights on, to like other equipment, making videos, just, you know, surviving. <laughs> so the final pro and con we want to highlight, depending on your perspective and your situation, is that when you are young, you get to marry not only the person you're marrying, but the whole family. And you get to get to know them over the course of your lives. You get to grow together and watch each other mature and just come into their best self. Especially for me as an only child, I didn't have any brothers and sisters, so I got Beth's brothers and then their partners. Depending on the situation, hopefully you get on really well with your family. Hopefully. If not, I really, really recommend working on it because it's not going anywhere. <laughs> Like, yeah, you can't, they're there forever. You can't just cut off and you can't just like go and do your own thing. Yeah. It's not it's not beneficial. Having family around is so powerful. Every time we've moved and every time we've had to rent a new flat and stuff, we've had family there to help times. out. Every time we've needed them and we've needed people who support us and love us, they've been there. For us, it's been such a bonus. Comment down below with all your pros and cons for getting married young and whether you're thinking about doing it yourselves and whether you have an apprehensiveness. Is that a word? <laughs> Apprehens apprehension? Apprehensions. Any apprehensions? <laughs> or you're just dead excited for it. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for more relationship based content. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video, it really helps support us. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.